Hey everybody, Belover911 here once again for an RPG Maker XP tutorial. So I just got a comment on one of my videos at, um, by skills1599511 asking how to put a name in text after going through the name input process. So I haven't done name input process yet, so I'm going to skip ahead and do that right now. So name input process is on the third page, it's the third tab down and it allows you to change your character's name. Now, for my games, I usually only have one character, and you can change that in the Actors tab on, in your database. You can change the maximum number, and you can have a lot. It's at 200 now, and it keeps rising. I'm scrolling through them, but I usually only have one. So, um, yeah. If you want to start off the game by allowing the player to choose their name, then right here where it says name, delete the name. The default name is Eleuxis. So I've never heard that name, and it doesn't interest me at all. I hate it, actually. But So what I've done here is I've set up Bob. I've put in some text asking uh, what he wants. Uh, he's asking us what we want to change our name to. I've put in the name input process and I've selected actor 1 and I put uh, the maximum characters to 16 now what characters is is the amount of digits you can have in the name so and then I've turned the switch off so, so he can't um, uh, you can't change your name more than once so you can see here that there's no name above my little character, but when I talk to him, he asks what I want to change my name to, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my name here. So you can see now that my name has changed above my character, my name has appeared, and um, I just exited out. But I'll, show you. I'll just put in a random name. Doesn't matter what it is. So I can show you this. And he's saying, Nice to meet you. And my name is there. Now, the text command for that is this slash, um, backslash, n bracket, the actor's number, and n bracket. So the actor's number is in database. You can see that my actor's number is 1001. You can have more than one, like I said before. This character's would be uh, two. This one would be three. So um, the text command for showing my character's name would be backslash n bracket one bracket. And it'll show whatever my character's name is. So that's how you do it. Um, another thing you can do with this, I'll go ahead and show you um, a project that I'm working on right now. Test map. There we go. I'll show you this right here. Oops. I'll show you what I've done with the character name input process. So the character select screen starts off in um, in heaven for this game. It's asking what your name is. So it starts off with your name input process. So and now it's going to choose a gender. I'm going to use female for this because I just made my name Tawny. So female says please choose an avatar. So it gives you a list right here of one, two, and three uh, different characters to choose from. So Right now, I need to enter either 1, 2, or 3, and I'll use number 1. And the f one that was labeled number 1 on the far left side is now my character. It says, please step through the gates. You can see that my character is uh, free to walk around. So what I did with that is 
I have four tabs. The first one changes um, uh, 1, 2, and 3 opacity to, to 0. Now 1, 2, and 3 is my little graphic that I've used right here to label them after after you choose. So I've changed those opacities to 0, so they're invisible. Um, I've made my transfer, my character transfer to this square right here. I put in the text and started the name in process. So then it, it switches over to the second page. And I have text saying choose your gender, male or female, if male and if female for each of the graphics that you can choose. Um, I put the name in process of one character, so you can choose either one, two, or three. And conditional branches if uh, you select one, two, or three to change the character graphic. So then it switches over to third page, and that's where I have my uh, please step through the gates. And page four is not doing anything right now, but. Yeah, that's just one thing you can do with this. I came up with this idea, and I'd like to share it with you guys. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial, and I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye.